hello, 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 hello. I wanted to touch base with everyone. I hope we're doing well as possible, okay? Doing the best that you can do. Uh, it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy couple weeks. Uh, so much has happened, so much has happened. Um, I've made my way to see my family and just to find my center and get myself in order. I'm going to Chicago to do a panache event, which is definitely gonna further my, <laughs> getting my life back in order and more. And that was already planned. So uh, definitely looking forward to that. There's all this information that's out there. Uh, people are really bringing material to like support us. And I think it's so important to support our wellness. Let me put it that way. You know, people are putting their lives back together. They're, they're trying to find some sense of normalcy. But definitely I want to encourage you to get yourself together. No matter how normal, you know, your house can look or your yard or, you know, things at your job, your family. You know, we've been displaced, uh, out of space, disgraced, whatever. Everything's just been disrupted. And then we had a force of nature flow through our state that reset the energy. So the best thing that I can suggest is don't try to go back to what was. Step into what to step into the now and do what you can do. Uh, our our we, we do have a bad habit of trying to put things quote unquote back to normal. Don't try to go back to normal folks because that normal doesn't exist. And it's gonna take a lot of work and effort for you and your family to go back to quote unquote normal. Also what I would suggest is that you do some sort of emotional balancing, centering, acknowledgement, addressing, whether you do it through writing, whether you talk to someone that's not a family member, like if you're married, don't talk to your partner. Don't, talk to someone else, okay? Uh, there's a lot of free events that's going around that people are trying to get back to the community. Do those things. It, it's very imp imperative, all right? You know, having to have to go through the, the hurricane myself, it's a, that's a traumatic experience for anyone, especially on your energy field and on your body. And, you know, when you're in flight or flight mode, it takes some time to get down from that. Trying to be positive is not going to get you down from that, okay? You're going to have to do something more to take it to the next level because the level of intensity that you're at, you're going to have to find something that it's of a greater intensity to be able to take that down, all right? So being positive ain't, is not going to do anything if you're already on 100, okay? You're going to have to do something that's on 1,000 that's going to bring you down which is why I'm doing the event that I'm going to, to help bring me to where I need to be. Something that's of greater power, that's outside of me, that's outside of the comfort zone or the space that I'm operating, is going to contribute to me. And that's what I suggest that you put your focus on. The, the quicker you try to meet those, those needs, folks, it's just like repairing your home and getting your affairs together. Take care of these emotions. You need to do it now before it solidifies. Because once this stuff hardens in your system, it's gonna be difficult to get it out of you. And then you're gonna to start to function from that. And then you're not gonna understand why you feel the way that you do and why you're so this way and why you're this way. You know, coming from someone who went to two wars, I understand the value of getting my life in some form. I didn't say order, but some form. And what I mean by that is ensuring that my emotional state is to some place of sensitivity, especially to myself and to other people. Um, and I'm doing that now, which is why I'm visiting my family and friends and doing different things. Um, the energy in Florida is gonna be very, very off, and I'm not looking forward to that because I'm aware of it. And, you know, it's gonna be off because people are not gonna be taking care of their vibration or their emotional state of being. And it's so unfortunate that we don't take make that priority and we don't make, think that that's important. And people say, well, they can deal with it on their own and they can't because they don't have the correct tools and resources in order to be effective. So 
it's going to be very interesting if you live in Florida. Um, and it's going to be a challenge, but I'm going to try to do the best that I can do, and that's all you can do. I'm going to make sure I take care of myself. And if there are people who are interested in getting some form of support, check out some events, okay? There's stuff out there, but you have to reach out to it. And if you're afraid to reach out to it, you need to reach out, okay? That right there is a sign that there's something there for you, okay? And it's not really fear, it's called uncertainty. We just call it fear. Um, I hope this video finds you well, and I think that's about it. Take care of yourself, okay, please. It's important. We need you to be the best you that you can be. And if that light is dim, that light is only dim because you're not taking care of you. So don't force your light, allow it to flow through you. And it will.